Chapter 13. Marvin takes them down to the bridge and introduces them to Zaford and Trillian. Right. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And that's they about... seem already fed up with Marvin and they've only just met. Yeah, that's about all that like physically happens in this. Yeah. But but like on the way I, I love I love the line that's like Marvin's like, you know what happens now? And it's like, no, what? said Arthur, who didn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I feel that line. Yeah, it's like, oh, we've arrived at another one of those doors. That's very happy about you. Right, yeah. For you. The door. And they get some kind of pleasure from it, which is <laughs> kind Awkward. of strange. Yeah. yeah. And then Ford is like, uh, all like full of himself because he knows Zaphod because they're semi-cousins or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, uh, Arthur knows Zaphod because... Oh, it's quite funny because he was at a yeah he was at a fancy dress party and Zafford was able to sneak in um, right and was a, and oh hit on Trillian and then they now we're here yeah yeah Ford just seems so upset though because he was like all proud of himself for knowing Zafford yeah, yeah and he's gonna like show off to Arthur or whatever and be like and Arthur's like oh, oh yeah I know him too yeah <laughs> it's like yeah we met like, how you Earthling but. Yeah, apparently he swung by a party on Earth and started flirting with Trillian, who yeah, Arthur then, was uh, talking to. Yeah. So I guess technically they had all met prior to this yeah. situation, except for Ford and Trillian. It's like a situation where Ford's at a disadvantage with knowing people. Yeah. But it's also just like weird because it's like the same, uh, I don't know, it seems like a random yeah. collection of people, but it's like th- somehow they've run into each other before then zaford is trying to calculate odds what was he doing that last chapter i can't remember what i remember there's like this subplot about the robot that spits out a piece of paper but he um doing a calculation where you find the highest po- possible probability is infinity minus one and then you do yeah right <laughs> it was something like that and then you can find the chance of something happening meaning meaning the the heart of gold can actually work yeah i don't i don't quite remember where yeah, I, it was vaguely something like some like weird equation. Um, but yeah, I know. There, is there anything else you want to say about chapter 13? I mean, that's about it. They get escorted yeah. to the bridge. They all meet and realize and then, they've uh, met before. Yep. And then they try to... And then they kind of somewhat explain the uh, infinite improbability drive to Arthur, I guess, more than Ford. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ford doesn't exactly know what it is, but he's... He knows the concept. Yeah. It would be like someone in... Someone fell asleep in 2012, then woke up with a switch. And like, oh, wow, what, wow, the Wii U looks good. He's like, oh, you poor boy. Yeah, or it'd be <laughs> like like explaining like nuclear power to someone in the 1700s versus someone today. It's like, oh, I know that's a thing that exists. I might not know all the details of it. Whereas yeah. someone in the 1700s would be like, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> nuclear? Yeah. What? Yeah, that was uh, another one of those sh- short chapters. I think mainly filled with dialogue because it's just all the characters talking and stuff about. Things. Yeah, it's like the four of them all being in the same room at the same time. Yeah. For the first time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. Or five Should if you count it. Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, <clears throat> interesting chapter.